Mindfulness has two main strands or aspects to it. The traditional term for mindfulness in the ancient Indian language of Pali contains two words, sati and sampajana. So the first aspect of mindfulness is sati, which means something like present moment awareness of our actions. So in other words, being fully present to our actions and states of mind, rather than being at a distance from them. The second aspect of mindfulness is sampajana, and this means awareness of purpose. So being more present and in touch with our motives and our overall direction in life. So here we acknowledge what motivates us, and we cultivate the positive within that. This in turn brings more positivity and health to the mind. The traditional training in Buddhist mindfulness is based in the original four Satipatthanas, or foundations of mindfulness, that the Buddha talked about. These are, one, we become more aware of our body. Two, we become aware of our feelings. Three, we become aware of our general state of mind. Four, we become more aware with our habitual reactions and responses within the first three foundations of mindfulness and we also cultivate greater awareness of the world around us basically the world of nature and the world of other people. Ultimately this last foundation helps one to gain what is called insight or vipassana. In the course we are leading we will be touching upon what is meant by insight. It sounds a mystical sort of thing, but actually most of us have had flashes of realization in our lives, and this is the spark of insight. Throughout the course we offer, we are mainly concerned with working very practically on a day-to-day -day level with the foundations of mindfulness in order to reap the benefits of mindfulness practice in our lives. So in order to develop mindfulness, we mainly use sitting meditation, but we can also cultivate awareness and mindfulness as we go about our life. However, even if we have a strong interest in mindfulness, like anything else, we need to work at it and cultivate it in a specific way. So we need to specifically put aside time if we want to cultivate mindfulness and strengthen it as a live quality in our lives. Meditation is indispensable in doing this. My own teacher Sangharashida talks about meditation as an art rather than a science. Basically what he is saying is that meditation is much more than a technique. Yes, there is a certain structure to meditation practice which the leader shares with us and which we need to learn, but when we meditate we are tuning into the texture of our experience in deeper levels and this is something that we have to find our own, our own way in over time. So before I finish up, just a few words on the benefits of mindfulness. In general, mindfulness helps us to develop more capacity to be aware of, of ourselves and focus our mind in a more calm way. It helps us to tune in to what is going on for us and be present with our experience much more fully in an aware and kindly way. This is important if something difficult is going on. Not only that, but mindfulness helps us to investigate and better determine what our experience is. You could call this bringing more perspective to what is going on in our experience. This is key to managing any difficulties that we may be having in life, for instance stress, anxiety or fear. Once we are fully in touch with our experience, or mindful of our experience, we have a much deeper sense of what is going on, we are in touch with the bigger picture of experience, as it were. As a consequence of this, a sense of us having other options in terms of how we respond opens up. This space is the kernel of freedom. From here we can begin to respond to things in such a way that liberates us from many difficult patterns that may be causing us suffering. So to sum up, to the extent that we are cultivating mindfulness, we can also expect to see the following qualities emerge much more fully in our lives. More awareness of our present experience, more of an ability to direct our mind and investigate our experience, more energy, 
a more joyful mind, much less stress and a deeper sense of tranquility and calm, a much deeper ability to concentrate our minds on what we want to, and generally more clarity. If you are interested in what I've talked about here, please click on the link to my website and you'll be able to see an outline of the course we are offering. If you have any questions, please contact me and we can discuss them further. Thank you.